Well, new research has created a tool that will soon help Americans eat healthier and feel better instantly. Reporter Chip Carter discusses how the University of South Carolina is making America better one vegetable at a time. We all know that what you eat can make you feel better or it can make you feel worse. We're with Julia Houston of Connecting Health Innovations. There's some very exciting research going on at the University of South Carolina into dietary inflammation and the role nutrition plays in that. Julia, can you give us a nutshell version of what's going on here? What our scientists have done is they have looked at fresh foods, you know, fruits, vegetables, and even some components of foods and rated them. And, and what we were able to do through our research is understand that there are 45 food uh, components and foods that are highly anti-inflammatory. So what we decided was in the best interest of the end user to rate these foods and apply our inflammation food grade to these foods. We've known for literally thousands of years of the importance of diet and health. But around the time I came to South Carolina, which is around 18 years ago, people were becoming much more aware of the role of inflammation in health. If I'm eating a diet which is strongly anti-inflammatory, it's going to be plant-based. It's going to be colorful, it's going to be aromatic, and it's going to take many fewer resources to produce that food than these alternative foods that are highly refined, that are very meat-based and so forth. Most people are not going to change their diet to prevent some chronic disease 10 or 15, 20, 30 years in the future. So what you need to do is provide something that's imminently useful. You can feel the effect of this immediately when you use it. I feel it that very day. Yes, my cancer risk is lower in my Type 2 diabetes risk is lower, and my heart disease risk is about zero, but that's not why I do it. It improves every single metabolic process in our body. So it don't have an immediate effect on joint health. There isn't a person over 40 that I know of that doesn't have morning stiffness. So we can pretty much eliminate that. So you'll start feeling those benefits right away. The problem that we have had in academic nutrition is we try to sell deprivation. And you think about things like Weight Watchers and these approaches, I mean, they're all about portion size. Eat brightly colored, flavorful foods, lots of them, as much as you possibly can. And I wouldn't worry about avoiding things. That's the key, is go, don't go the deprivation place. Don't worry about controlling those white and colorless foods. Instead, focus on the bright, colorful, and flavorful foods. It's not a fad, it's not a trend, it is hard science and it's gonna make you feel better right now. In Columbia, South Carolina, I'm Chip Carter from SoutheastProduceWeekly.com reporting for RFD-TV. Well, thanks for that report, Chip. Now the university and CHI are now developing a plan that will soon make the Dietary Inflammatory Index information available to everyone.